Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. You are tuning in to our live virtual Build a Buddy Night. Um, we thank you all for joining us and taking a little bit of time out of your day uh, to have a little bit of fun with us. That's, uh, that's what we're here for. Um, tonight we are going to be going through step by step on how to build your buddies. Um, and then after we will have a special little story time with one of our preschool teachers um, that, has, that is joining us tonight as well. So I will, uh, I will get started here. I'll give it just a second or so so that way some people can jump on. Um, we are going to be going through exactly what all is in your kit. And then uh, we will start, I will start explaining some things and um, then we will start building. Um, so really quick, I just wanna thank everybody for your support with this event. Uh, we really, really wished we could have hosted in person like we did last year. Um, but you know, unfortunately due to all of the guidelines and regulations that we have in place right now, that just was not possible. Um, but we were still happy that we could offer this event still and, uh, and bring it to you guys in a virtual aspect. Um, so we are really excited. Um, we were able to double the amount of animals that we sold from last year to this year. So that is very exciting. Um, we plan to host this event again next year. Um, so if you were not able to, to uh, join in this time, we will, uh, we will catch you on the next one. So, all right, so we are going to get started. So everybody would have received a blue cinch sack bag that looks like this. Okay, and there would have been a tag on it that said what was in your what was in your and or what was in your kit. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to open up your kit and you should have a few items. So I'm just going to dump my bag out right now. Okay, so in your kit, you should have an animal. You should have some popsicle sticks. You should have a t-shirt, a yellow star, a bag of stuffing, and then also a birth certificate card. So all of these items are what is located in your kit. So I will give everybody an opportunity to get these items out, get them ready to go if you do not have them ready yet. And then what we are going to do is we are going to take our shirt and our star and our birth certificate and we are going to set those off to the side for right now because we don't need those items right now. Okay, so we are going to start with our animal, our bag of stuffing, and most kids have one popsicle stick. I have just a couple extras here with me tonight. So we are, everybody should have everything ready. I do have some helpers here tonight that are building with me. Uh, so if you hear me talking to some other, other little bodies, that's, uh, that's what I'm doing here. Um, so everybody should have their animal. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to take our bag of prepackaged stuffing and we're going to go ahead and open it. There's a little notch at the top where you can just rip it right open. The company that we worked with was absolutely amazing on getting us these prepackaged kits, which made things a lot easier for us. So we are going to keep our stuffing in our bag for right now, okay? We're gonna keep it tucked away in there, but we're just gonna keep it open because when we open it, it fluffs up, okay? I'll give everybody a chance to get their bags opened. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip our animal. We have lots of different animals. Um, we offered six varieties. So you're going to, whatever animal you have, you're going to flip him on his belly so that way his back is facing up, okay? And then on the back of your animal, you're going to feel around and you'll feel a little bit of a Velcro. And you're going to open up that Velcro. And then you're going to see a white, a white little sleeve right here. And you're going to pull that up and out. Okay? So everybody pull that little white sleeve up and out. Okay, now with our style of animals, we have two different styles. So some 
Some animals you will notice have a zipper closure. So you, when we are done, we will zip that. Some animals have a zip tie. So what, we'll, what you'll do is when we're done, you'll just pull that zip tie nice and tight and closed, okay? All right, so does everybody have their, does everybody have their animal ready to go? Okay, so what we are going to do to start is you're just going to grab just a little bit, okay? And let's start with the top half of our animal, okay? So we have sloths, we have monkeys, we have foxes, we have unicorns. Uh, I think I covered them all. So what you're going to do is you're just going to grab a little bit of your stuffing, okay? Just a little handful, okay? And then we're going to kind of push them down in there. Okay, you're going to push it into that little hole, and then we're going to guide it to where we want it to go. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start with this guy's arms, okay, his upper arms. So we're going to take that, that little bit of stuffing, and this is where you can start using your popsicle stick. So if you have, so I have some bigger hands. Some of our friends have smaller hands that are easier to work with. So we're going to use that popsicle stick to start pushing some of that stuffing down in there. Okay, so make sure you're getting that stuffing in where it needs to go. Yeah, use your fingers and you just kind of guide it on in there. There we go. And hopefully most of us have an adult that are sitting with us that can help us, the ones that are at home. Hopefully you have a, a grown-up that's with you, or maybe you have an older sibling that can help a little bit too. Because um, getting, getting started and sometimes doing these, sometimes doing the arms and the legs, those get, a little, those get a little tricky. Okay, so once you get that stuffing in there, once you get it good to go, grab a little bit more. And just keep on, keep on stuffing down. There we go. There we go. And then as you get, as you get your little bits in there, just add a little bit more. And it might be easier to start with little tiny bits of stuffing. So that way it's easier to get them in there, okay? Yep, and remember, you can use your, if you can't get them down in there, you can use your popsicle sticks. And then once you get, so I've got, so I'm doing the sloth, and so I've got his arm feeling, I've got one of his arms feeling pretty good. So now I'm going to start with the other side. So I'm going to kind of flip him around because that's what's easier for me. And I'm going to start working on his other arm. Now for me, what I found, what's a little bit easier, is to take little, little, uh, little poofs, I guess we'll call them, uh, <laughs> of, uh, of filling, stuffing. Um, it makes it a lot easier to, to go in there. Yep, just keep, just keep using your fingers or your popsicle sticks and stuff them on in there, okay? All right. All right, we're going to keep going. All right, make sure that you're getting all of your little, little areas in there. Okay. All right, how are we doing? Are you, are you getting your stuffing in there? Are we doing what we need to do? Make sure you get them in all of their feet. Get all their feet. All right. The arms are, the arms and the feet are normally the trickiest. So once you get the arms 
or the top half of your animal, maybe your animal doesn't have arms, maybe your animal just has legs or feet. So once you get the top half done, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start with the bottom. So whether you have bottom legs or bottom feet or back feet, depending upon what, which animal that you got, we're going to start putting some of our stuffing in those areas. So we wanna make sure that we start with the, with the arms and legs or with the feet, depending upon which animal you have get those done first because that will be the easiest there we go now we're getting some stuffing in there all right and what's really nice about these filling kits that we were able to get is they the company that we buy from measures out all of this all of this uh polyfill or stuffing and they measure out exactly how much we need for these size animals. So that's what they kind of really helped us out. For anybody that joined us last year, if you remember when we did the in-person event, we just had a big table full of stuffing. So some people got a lot of stuffing, some people just did a little bit of stuffing. But what's nice about these kits, since they're pre-packaged for us, it gives everybody the exact same amount of perfect, perfect amount of stuffing for your animal. So make sure that we're working on our feet and our arms. Now most of the animals, I'm pretty sure all of them, the head is already stuffed for us. So we don't have to worry about the head. Okay, so that part is done for us. Yep, if your animal has a tail and you need to stuff the tail, make sure that you get your stuffing in the tail before we do the main body. Because if we do the main body before we do all the extra little pieces, we, Okay, the tail is already stuffed, I'm being told, by our super wonderful helpers that have joined us tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rest of my filling out of my bag. And now, so I've got my arms filled and I've got my legs filled. So now I'm going to take all the rest of my filling and I'm just gonna keep tucking it back in this hole, back in this little pocket that they give us. I'm gonna keep maneuvering it back to where I need to get it. So remember I said, for me, it's a little bit easier to grab smaller handfuls and get them where they need to go. And like I said, if you need to, we have some popsicle sticks just to kind of help move that filling where it gets it a little bit easier for us. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going. Now some people, you guys, depending upon how soft you like your animals or if you like your animals really, really stuffed, um, you can either, you don't have to use all of this stuffing that they gave us either, depending upon how you like your stuffed animals, okay? So, make sure that our our animals are getting nice and filled and nice and full I hope everybody had a fun day at home today I know I was very surprised to wake up and see all that snow I knew we were supposed to get some snow but I didn't think we were supposed to get that much snow which that really surprised me and I know for my kids, they had a lot of fun today going outside and playing. They got to take their puppy dog outside and play with him in the snow. So they had a lot of fun with that. So, okay, so we're just gonna keep, we're just gonna keep going. Make sure we're getting them all nice and full, nice and stuffed. All right. Mm 
Okay, we have, like I say, we have some, we have some helpers with us tonight that are working on their animals also. So we're making sure that they're all, they're getting their animals all good to go as well. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask, or if you need help with anything, feel free to ask. We're just gonna kinda, gonna kinda keep, keep going away. So some of you, so if you've got your animal already stuffed, if you already used your bag of stuffing, if you've already got your bag of stuffing filled and you've got your animal nice the way you like it, what you can do is you can kind of like smush them a little bit, kind of work, work everything out, work it to the way you like it. All right, and I've got my last little bit of stuffing that's going in. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of smooth him out here a little bit. I'm gonna flip him over, make sure that he's the way that I like him. All right. Okay, so now, so does everybody have their animals somewhat ready? Okay, I'll give everybody just another minute to keep working on their animals. I'm gonna keep, uh, I'm gonna keep kind of smoothing Mr. Sloth out here. I haven't named my sloth yet. I'm still trying to think of a think of a good name for him. So if anybody has a good name idea for a sloth, let me know. Maybe I'll choose one of your names. And then also, after we're done tonight, we're going to create a post on our page where you can take a picture with your new buddy and you can post your picture on our page and share with all of our friends that joined us tonight. And you can share what your new friend looks like. You can share what you named your new friend and all of that. So, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and keep moving. So now that I've got everything all filled and stuffed in here, next thing we need is our yellow star that came in our kit. Okay. So can everybody find their yellow star? Everybody find your yellow star. And this is what we call our wishing star. So what we need to do is we need to hold our star in our hands really, really tight. Okay. And we need to make a wish. Now, remember, do we, do we say our wishes out loud? No. no, we keep them to ourselves. So make a good wish. So I'm going to wish on my star. Okay. And then if you want, you can give your star a little kiss. And then you're going to tuck your star right inside the middle of your special buddy, okay? So we're going to tuck him in there nice and neat, all right? Now this is the part where we're going to close up our animal. So remember, like I said, some of our animals have a zipper and some of our animals have, a, have, a, have what we call a zip tie, which is a plastic ring. Okay, so if you have a zipper, like mine has a zipper, you're going to grab the string. Okay, there's a string on our zipper. And we're going to hold an end, and we're going to zip it all the way up to zip it closed, okay? So it's not going to open back up. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, so once we have them all closed up, we're going to tuck that back down inside of our animal. Tuck them down, tuck it down in there. And then all of our animals have this Velcro piece right here. So to keep everything nice and inside our animal, we're going to shut. We're going to squeeze that Velcro together, okay? And we're going to squeeze it nice and, oh, 
Look, mine just popped back open because I had a little bit of hair and a little bit of fur in the way. All right, so there we go. Now we've got them nice and close. So we've got them all closed up. We can flip them over. And so now we have our cute little new animal. I got some stuffing that's hanging out. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to dress our new animal. Okay. So you will either, some of you might have had a blue shirt, some of you might have had an orange shirt. So what you can do is I'm going to take the tag off of my shirt and then we're going to dress our new friend. So I'm going to put it right over his head, just like this. All right, and then I'm going to take his arm and put his arm through the arm. And then I'm going to put his other arm. There we go. And so now my friend is all ready to go. He's dressed. I like to say he's dressed for success. I like the way that my little guy looks. So he's all ready. He's got his new Tiger Paul shirt on. And I also want to say a big thank you to Brandy with this, that, and the other. I want to say thank you to Brandy with this, that, and the other. She was so kind enough to donate her time and she was able to do all these white paw prints on the shirts for us. Um, she helped us last year and she was super excited to help us again this year. So thank you, Brandy. Okay. So thank you, Brandy, with that. We really, really appreciate your help and your generosity with um, always continuing to help the community with different events. So now that everybody's got their shirts on, the best part of the time is now we get to make it official and we get to adopt our new friend. So this is the part where we put our name. So we're going to name our new friend. Then it says date of birth. So the date of birth, that's going to be today's date. So today is April 21st. That's the day that our animal, that we got our animals and we got to build him or her. And then it says stuffed with love by, and that's where you put your name because you are the person that made your animal. So everybody think real hard about what you want to name your new friend. Okay. All right. So I'm going to help a friend that we had that I have sitting beside me and she wants to name her new animal ice cream. I like that name. That is a very good name. And I'm going to put the her animals birth date on there for her. So I put 42121. And then I'm going to let her write her own name. So you can put your name right there on the bottom. And that, friends, is how we make our brand new buddy. So we are so excited that you joined in and you got to make a new friend with us. We hope that you love your new friend just as much as we do. It's okay. Just as much as we do. And we hope that you give him all kinds of hugs and snuggles and he becomes a new friend for you. So I'm going to let my friends finish up here. I will let you guys finish up at home. Um, mm -hmm. yep. All right. So thank you for joining us, friends. Now we are going to, if you're still working on your stuffed animal, that's quite all right. You can continue working. But if you are done with your stuffed animal, make sure you grab him and hold him or her and hold it tight and join us for a fun story time with our preschool teacher, Mrs. Edgel. Hi, I'm Mrs. Edgel and I'm one of the preschool teachers here at Gallion City Schools. So I thought I would read two stories about stuffed animals. The first one I have is Corduroy and this is a book 
that my mom and dad used to read to me when I was a little girl. And I actually brought my little corduroy with me to sit and listen. Corduroy. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Though, then one morning, a little girl stopped, stri looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I don't know. I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator, and he went up. Could this be a mountain, he wondered? I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there before his eyes was the most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled into a large, thick mattress. All at once he saw something small and round. Why, well, here's my button, he cried. And he tried to pick it up, but like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop, off came the button and off, and off the mattress corduroy tumbled. Bang, into a tall lamp, over it fell with a crash. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going was going on his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Now who in the world did that, he exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. He flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy ears sticking straight up under the cover. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arms and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. Corduroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store in the morning and there looking at him with wide warm smile was the same little girls he'd seen, seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. <clears throat> Shall I put him in a box for you, the sales lady asked. Um, no thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers and a long, long-sided girl-sized bed stood a little bear bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like the enormous palace in the apartment store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder straps fastened. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and gave him a big hug. That was Corduroy, friends, and I hope your stuffed animal becomes a friend, just like um, in Corduroy. Now I have one more book, 
And this book is one of my preschoolers favorite books and my little girl's favorite books, Nuffle Bunny. This book has a lot of funny words in it. Nuffle Bunny. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park, past the school, and into the laundromat. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. She even got to put the money into the machine. Then they left. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Trixie turned to her dad and said, Arba Flogger Klobobble. That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. Arba Flogger Klobobble, said Trixie. Blaggy Flabby, Wimpy Flappy, Snarp. Now please don't get fussy, said her daddy. We, well, she had no choice. Trixie bawled. She went boneless. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. But by the time they got home, her daddy was very unhappy too. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, Where's Nuffle Bunny? The whole family ran down the block and they ran through the park. They zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked for Nuffle Bunny and looked and looked and looked, but Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder until Nuffle Bunny. And those were the first words Trixie ever said. Thank you for joining us tonight, and I hope you guys have a good night snuggling with your new friends.